Hey there, live streamers, videographers, friends, Zephan here, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on a new thing that I discovered that I think might make your live streams just a little bit easier. That new product is called Zoom ISO or Zoom ISO. You can see it right here on screen. This is from Liminalet. It's L-I-M-I-N. A-L-E-T dot com and we'll go ahead and put the URL at the bottom of the screen for you so you can see that. And this is a nifty tool that I'm testing out for free so you'll see a watermark over it as I'm using it but you can go ahead and actually purchase a license to it for $249 which I believe in this usage case is probably going to be worth it. So let's talk about the usage case for this. The biggest thing that I would be using this for is most likely when I'm doing a live stream and I need to be able to bring in a virtual guest full screen. And so if I'm going to bring in somebody who is just calling in over Zoom, we have our virtual caller unit. You've probably seen that in another video, but part of the problem with it is it's this big bulky thing. It requires a bunch of stuff and pretty much every person that has seen it is like, NDI, NDI, why haven't you used NDI? Well, Zoom ISO is one of those things that's going to help us use NDI for certain workflows. But for you Blackmagic folk that are using the A10 Minis, A10 Mini Pro, or the Extreme like I am, you can see it right over here behind me. Uh, this is a way that's going to be easier for us to bring a full screen feed of a virtual guest into our live streams. So I just wanted to walk you through real quick what I've discovered so far. This by no means is, this is not a full comprehensive tutorial, but this is something that I've found out in just a few minutes of kind of playing around with this. And I think it's going to be useful. And how I would set this up normally is I would create a Zoom call using my Zoom account, which I do have Zoom HD enabled. Uh, and basically I would invite my guest speaker in, they would join in on that call. And that computer is obviously going to be on their end, on the other side of the world, wherever they're at. I need to have another computer here in person that's going to have this Zoom ISO installed on it and feeding an HDMI output to my A10 Mini Pro, A10 Mini Extreme, whichever switcher you're actually using. So let's go ahead and jump over. I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to bring this down here. And the first thing we need to do is to create a Zoom meeting, which I've already done on a second computer. So we need to open up our Zoom ISO settings. So this is the application. This is what you see when you first jump on. And just off to the side off camera here, I do have another computer that's pretending to be our virtual guest elsewhere. So I'm feeding it just a looping video of a guy kind of waving and looking at the screen, pretending as if he were a virtual guest. So this computer needs to join that same Zoom call that I've already created. So what you can do is you can take that Zoom meeting link that you have and the first part of it before the question mark here, this is the meeting ID. And then right after this PWD equals, this is your meeting password. So in Zoom ISO, I'll go to join only, and you can see I've already pasted this in here. So I took just the first set of digits and that is the meeting ID. I gave myself a name, so we'll just call this, uh, we can call this tech switcher guy, whatever you want. And uh, password, we're gonna copy and paste right in here. And now it's time to join that existing meeting that's already going on. So I will press join. It's going to ask me to join with video, join with my camera so that that virtual guest is getting a return feed of what's happening. So I'll join with video. And now I need to let myself in over here on this other computer just because I had a waiting room turned on. Now, once I have let myself in, it's going to jump around between screens because I'm using two displays right now. Uh, but you can see what we've got here. So it basically looks like you have Zoom and you can see your return feed going back to them and you can see your virtual guest right here. Now, I'm not really going to touch this screen. I'm actually going to slide this to the side, slide the Zoom ISO settings over here. We'll even minimize uh, the room settings because we don't even need this anymore. So we'll just take that out of the way. So, so now I'm here in Zoom ISO. And what I need to do is I basically need to create a window that this virtual guest is going to be placed into. 
because if I just took this right now, it's kind of messy. You see all the Zoom information on screen. You would see all the little buttons and, and all that stuff. It's messy, right? So what I'm going to say is number of outputs. In this case, it's just one because I only have one guest here. So I'm just going to set it to one. But if you had multiple guests, you can see you can go all the way up to 100 if your computer could actually handle that. For me, it's just going to remain one for right now. So I press one, and what you didn't see is on my second display, this blank window popped up with Zoom ISO on top. Now I need to tell it what needs to go into that window. So back in the Zoom ISO settings, and you can see the output here, Zoom ISO output one. Under participant, I need to select my participant, which in this case is going to be this guy. Look at that. So now we have this full window and in the Zoom ISO settings, you can actually go in and set the resolution. So if you have an HD enabled Zoom account, you've got HD. So it's going to jump around a little bit as you change the resolution. Uh, also, this is going in as HD on the other side. If you lower the resolution to say 180p, you're certainly going to see the size change, but also you'll see the quality of that change as well. So for the time being, I'm going to bring this back up to 1080p so we have our full window. And now if you had a paid version of the program, all you would do is just minimize the Zoom meeting, minimize the Zoom ISO settings, take this thing full screen, and that is your feed going into your ATEM to include your guest presenter, uh, your guest speaker. And in this case, the only reason why it's not taking up the full screen here is because my screen resolution on this display is actually larger than HD. So for my cases, I would probably have to take this up to 2160p or something similar to that in order for this to fit. Um, you could also just hit full screen and there's your full screen. So that's the feed that I would be taking into the ATEM and I now have a full completely unaltered version of my virtual guest that I can feed right into the ATEM over the HDMI output. Simply check the settings on your computer to make sure that the HDMI output is passing both video and audio. Uh, you could also pass that audio through the headphone jack into a sound mixer and then work on it from there, but this is the simplest way to bring somebody in using Zoom ISO. So if you are looking for more quick tutorials and tips and tools like this to make your live stream look better, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below this video to make sure that you can be notified anytime we release new videos. Looking forward to seeing you back on the next one. See you next time.